How's it going YouTube? Recently I moved into a new apartment and I've been building out my desk office setup and I decided that for the chair I was going to splurge a little bit and I went to Ikea, walked around the showroom for a bit, tried out a couple of different chairs and uh, settled on one that I really liked. Uh, I'll put the name of it up on the screen, I'm not going to even try to pronounce it because I'll probably butcher it. Uh, today I just wanted to go over my thoughts on it, how the setup went, um, some things they like and don't like about it and hopefully help uh, someone make an informed decision if they're looking to buy it as well. So yeah, let's just get right into the setup. So overall the setup was pretty easy. Uh, total time was 43 minutes. The only tool that you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. You also need an Allen key, but it comes with the one you need, so you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, all the parts felt very solid and well made, and all the bolts had thread lock on them, so I'm pretty satisfied with how it went together, and I think it'll last a while. My biggest critique with the setup guide is that they didn't actually label these bolts very well. Um, they just used their six digit code, as you can see here, um, which is fine, that works, but I think they could have just simplified this numbering system a little bit. But if you organize it by size, you'll be able to figure out pretty well. Uh, everything else with the instructions um, was pretty straightforward, and it's all just pictures that are pretty easy to follow. So I think that went pretty well. So I actually built this chair a little over a week ago, and over the week of use, I've noticed uh, three things that I really like about it. Uh, one is the lumbar support on the lower back. I like how it has that pad there, and it does uh, help me from rounding my back when I'm sitting down. The second thing I like is the mesh on the back. Uh, a lot of times you sit in a chair if it's cold or something like that, especially with the leather, um, it can kind of shock your back. But I like the mesh. It's a lot more breathable. It has like some airflow, and it doesn't cause my back to sweat as much if I'm sitting down for a long time. And the number one thing I like the most about it is the leather cushions. I really like having the leather cushions because if you need to, you can just spray them down and clean them off, and uh, you know get back to them smelling good. If you're in like an intense gaming session or something and, and you're sweating, you know I think it's nice to be able to, uh, to clean it that easily. With uh, some of the fabric chairs, with the fabric cushions, I feel like, you know, over time they could start smelling uh, kind of bad and there's not really a good way to clean them. So that, that is uh, one of the biggest reasons I got this chair is because of those, the leather cushions. So a couple things I didn't like about it. Um, the tags on the bottom are very low hanging and um, a pretty bad eyesore if you're going to keep it like that. So uh, I just cut them off like right away and I think it made it look a lot better. But I guess that's a minor cosmetic thing. And the worst part about this chair by far is the wheels. For being over $300, you think that the wheels would be pretty good. Um, but they're actually pretty bad and I don't think they're that well made. I'll show a clip of me trying to push the chair around and you can see it just doesn't really roll that well. Um, they, this, the wheels are made of plastic and they don't really have a good bearing. And they, and they really just, they don't roll around that well. Um, I'm not sure why, with being a more expensive chair, why they didn't just you know, make better wheels. But I did see in someone else's review, they had said that as well before I bought it. And uh, yeah, they were right. The, the wheels really aren't that great. So if you are trying to get a chair where you're gonna be moving around a lot with it, uh, this is probably not the one you wanna get. For me, I don't really roll around that much. I just sit at my desk and then I only move it if I need to stand up. Um, so for me, it's not that big of a deal and I'm still gonna keep it, I still like it, but that is something to keep in mind if you're looking into this one. And a couple other features that I felt like were pretty much in the middle, about average what I expect them to be. The adjustability of everything worked really well. The headrest, you know, you can bring up and down pretty reasonably. Um, you can adjust the cushion forward and back and then up and down works, you know, just like a normal office chair would pretty well. And um, you can also put the armrest forward and back that mechanism of the, of the armrest moving I don't think is that great because it doesn't really stay that well if you want them uh, further back. But all in all, all those features were just how I would uh, expect them to. So that's going to conclude my review of this chair from Ikea. Uh, if you have the same desk, let me know what you think about it. If you agree with my points, disagree with them. Or if you have a similar chair that you think is better or worse, also let me know. And I hope you enjoyed, hope you got something out of it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and have a great day.